Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. Y'all, I happened upon a five-minute video last night that literally got me all the way together. I thought it was amazing. So I'm telling you right now, I definitely have the link below this episode because you have to see it for yourself, but I got to talk about it. So basically, I want to talk to you guys today about waiting, but waiting from another perspective which is what they talked about. So essentially, they were saying how Jairus need, needed a miracle for his daughter. He needed his daughter to, you know, he wanted Jesus to come and, you know, help his daughter so that she could stay alive. Well, if you read in that chapter, you'll discover that on the way to go meet her, uh, his daughter, there lies the woman with the issue of blood. Right. And I think he called it like a drive by miracle. I can't remember what word he said, but basically the woman with the issue of blood was there and she just kind of popped up on the way to a hurried situation because, you know, Jairus was like, yo, like I need you to come and save my child. So imagine you on the way to the hospital or you on the way to go take care of somebody who's dying, but somebody else stopped in front of him and said, man, I'm so sick. Can you help me? And Jesus stopped to help him. Now think about us doing that in real life right now. You know, you urgently going to go save a life or do something super tremendous, but somebody else needs something just as heavy, just as weightier, right? Whatever this was with his daughter, this was something, a new thing. This had just happened. Well, this woman had been struggling 12 years. So normally we, we focus on the woman with the issue of blood. But in this particular case, we're talking about Jairus and we're asking you know, hey, what would you do if somebody got blessed before you and you feel like you were the person that waited? It was your turn in line, y'all. It's just like when people get really angry when people skip you in line because your whole thing is, yo, I've been waiting. You didn't take the time to, to chill in this line with me. I had to stand here the whole time. You can't just run up. Imagine how he was feeling. Okay. This woman rolls up, gets a quick drive by miracle, and he basically has to just wait, you know? And meanwhile, back at the ranch, this dude's daughter dies. So the entire time, God knows he has to resurrect his daughter. He already know it's not going to be what he's thinking. But the whole time, imagine, y'all, how many times we get in situations and we are on the way to the blessing and on the way to the miracle and the Lord has to stop for some reason or you feel delayed or you're on pause. I truly, truly, truly hope that those of you who are listening, who have been in that situation many times like myself, you see other people around you getting blessed. Oh, y'all, he gave an example. My God. And it was real. He was talking about, I'm gonna let, I'm not going to give it all away. So you have to listen to it. But basically he was just saying maybe somebody so unsavory who wasn't living right. They click and boom, they start living right. And everything happened for them. All their blessings come and here you've been living right the whole time. And you see them come up before you. Let me tell you, I have witnessed that so many times. And I will be honest with you. It has really not set well with me. But it also made me realize that the Lord has so much more work to do in me because all of that stuff is about being humbled. Y'all, sometimes we could be so selfish and so self-centered and focused on the things that we want and we not even thinking about what it is that God is trying to show us on a higher level. And y'all, I can tell you again, personally, there are some things that I have not gotten yet that I'm starting to get now because I wasn't ready to handle it. Just because you want something on a Monday, it doesn't mean that you're going to get it on a Monday. Once God says, hey, I told you I'll give you the desires of your heart. 
You know, you seek your happiness in me. Well, when you start seeking your happiness in, in him, you're going to start getting revelation about yourself and you're going to start seeing things about yourself where in retrospect, you can realize that, you know what, when I asked God for this, I wasn't ready to receive it. I just wanted it the day that I asked it, but I wasn't ready to receive what I asked him for. So where do you fit in, in this equation? Where do you fit in? What is it that you're desiring? What are you hopeful for? What are you asking God to do for you and in you so that you can get the things you desire? And before I wrap up again, please look at the video. It is, it is literally five minutes. It is so powerful in five minutes, but I want to say this to you. I want you to think about this before we ride out. Is it more important for you to get the thing that you want or for you to know that you are in such right standing with God that he was actually willing to give it to you because he knew he could ha you could handle it. Think about that. What's more, most important to you? When you figure out that answer and what's more important to you, that's going to say a lot about where you are in your life and the things to come. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.